What's up? What's up, people of YouTube? So we're back on to the little donkey. Um, little donkey died on me the other day. Um, it could be terminal, but uh, I've managed to find out how to read the ECU. Uh, and the ECU threw up two code numbers, which I deciphered as engine temperature switch. And unfortunately, the fuel injector. Now, I did add the uh, injector out, I laid it on the cylinder head and uh, just cycled the pump a few times and the spray pattern to me, it looked really, really heavy, uh, not very good at all. So I'm not gonna doubt what Honda's logged in the ECU, I'm gonna go with what they said. And I have bought said parts, genuine Honda parts, and you'll be interested to see the said genuine parts. These part numbers you can search on any Honda parts list. I actually get these part numbers from Fowlers.co.uk. Not that I get any money from Fowlers for that. That large bang out the back is a fruit tree next door dropping fruit on the roof. Um, but yeah, I just paid 2,531 baht for the injector. It might sound like a lot to you, but we'll uh, tell you what that is in a minute. 738 baht for the temperature sensor, and I'm just about to sneeze. <coughs> oh dear. Right, now the whole area has died of COVID, so we'll continue. That lot came out at 2,623 baht, which, if you want to run it through your currency converter, £61.99 in English. In England, that's £78 alone. So, you can say that I got a pretty good deal. Now, the next thing is, I've got to fit them. So, the temperature switch goes into the water jacket, so obviously you're supposed to drain down the cooling system. Well, I'm being a lazy mo fo, and I'm gonna do it live. Um, the problem with this is, the camera's up there, wherever you can see my finger, you're kind of up there. And what we need to change is, right up in there. So, you're not really gonna get much of a view of it. You can get a Spaniard in there, just about. So as I am a person of field repairs, I am going to try and whip that out live, plug it with my finger whilst getting the seal off and trying to put the new sender in. Um, and if it fails, I'll just have to go out and buy a load more coolant. So. Uh, I don't suppose there's much to see there, really. I'll just crack on a minute, and you can join me after the mess. Actually, that was only about three seconds ago. Basically, the ceiling ring fell off, and uh, because of the vacuum in the cooling system, can you see? I've got my head round sideways because of the vacuum in the cooling system. No coolant's come out. Obviously, you're supposed to use a new ceiling ring but uh, we're out here in Thailand and a lot of repairs got to be done on site in the field so we don't uh, cry about it we just crack on so the torque setting for this will be 15 ugga duggers and a Hail Mary only kidding please don't use an ugga dugger gun it won't end well. Well, you'd have to take the engine out in order to get on there, so you're not going to be able to. Right. So, I reckon that's sufficient to hold that in place. I'll just pop the plug back on. Now, uh, I have done a video on how to read the ECU fault codes which you can find in my back catalogue amongst all the other random videos I do. If you like random videos, there's more than enough to keep you amused. So we've got two 8mm bolts holding the injector in. 
which are right there. They're only finger tight. Take off the fuel plug. Ah, pop. So, and uh, you can get gas to drip all down your leg as well if you like. And this stuff's gas a hole, which is really great. I got a mouthful of gas a hole last night when I was um, draining the tank out. Oh, not too much wind. What are you doing with that damn cat now? You're not going to drown it again, are you? <laughs> Bloody thing spends more time in a bath than I do. Whoops, okay, so, out comes the injector. This is all on O-rings, so. <laughs> it wasn't that tight yesterday. And we had it out to check the spray pattern. So, remove the safety caps. One and two. Oh, it comes with a new O ring. That's nice. It doesn't come with a new seal at the bottom, though. So, I'm going to use the old one because, uh, like I said, we're out in the field. Now, what I did notice on this old injector, there was a bit of deformation. Deformation, deformation. Defamation is uh, when you talk crap on the internet. Uh, and if you're going back through my old videos, you're gonna find a lot of that at a moment because I've got some stupid people trying to ruin my channel and they think they're gonna ruin my life. They're not gonna ruin my life. Nowhere near as much as what I'm gonna to do to them because I've got nearly 400 pages of their um, personal information on the internet. They don't know that I know who they are but they're going to find out. But anyway, that's a different video. So, we will lube that up. We haven't got any lube. No, that's carb cleaner. Uh, oh, we got some up there, look. So, oh, we've got plenty of gas on the floor now. Uh, let's just uh, give that a tiny little squirt. I'm gonna shove it in there dry. Not nice, nobody likes it going in there dry, do they? Right, injector. It's just, it can just swing around on its own and smash me in my ear in a minute. Very, very carefully, ease. It's not gonna be a take two, so you're gonna see that I just uh, messed up there and put it in back to front. So there we go, that locating tag locates on the uh, injector plug. Right, ease it back in the hole for a second time. Start your bolts. And just Tamp it down, finger tight. All right, before you torque those up, pop the plug back on because there's a locator for the injector built into the plug and the fuel pipe. There it is. All right, he's now located in the right place. Now you can get on your Ugga Dugga gun, followed by a few Hail Marys. Right, so. That's me two faults taken care of. All I've got to do now is throw the fuel tank back on. Now I have had the fuel tank out while it's here. I've had the pump out. Pretty much all you've got inside the, there is a big lump of white plastic with your fuel sender on it. It's a sealed unit. There must be some kind of filter in there. Um, but I tried to take it apart and it was proven to be a bit difficult. So. As the fuel that was in there and the tank, I could see there was no shit crap water or anything floating around in there. So I've decided to leave sleeping dogs alone and uh, put it all back in. So that's ready to go back on. 
All I gotta do now, build the, uh, well, bung the tank back on, put some gas in it, spark it up, see if it runs. Then I've gotta go back onto the workshop manual and find out how to clear those codes. So, let's see how we get on. Alrighty, so we're all connected up. I put some gas back in the tank. Uh, let's just cycle up the fuel pump. Right, now, I also have another thing going on. Um, I've either picked up some more bad gas, or blown my engine up. There's only one way to find out. Well, what was happening was there was tons of blue smoke, but we've had blue smoke before when I've picked up bad gas. Because they, uh, they do anything around here to try and stretch the money out.